Did you know I have a comic about vampires? And it's free to read! It's funny as well, so go and read it. Hey guys, Cha Chan here, and in today's video I'm drawing my all-time favourite character, Julian from Randy Cunningham, 9th grade ninja. Uh, if you know me or you've been following me more recently, you might be surprised to hear that Julian is my favourite character since all I seem to post about, make videos about, do anything about is Yugi from Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> uh, and I, I guess Yugi is like my favourite character as such, but Julian has the number one spot. He has been my favourite character for the past almost 10 years. <laughs> yeah, I was watching Randy Cunningham when it was still airing. <laughs> oh, it's been really weird though. The, the other month I went on the Tumblr tag for RC9GN and there were, there were teenagers posting about like how they watched the show when they were little children. I was like, what? People age? Aren't you like still three years old? <laughs> you know, it's weird when people like come into a fandom you've been in for so many years, and then they're like, "Oh yeah, I watched this when I was a child." What? You, you were a child? How are you? How how did you grow up? That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> oh, like the other the other year, um, when I was working at the primary school for work experience, <laughs> uh, I was doing the reading with the children, and. <laughs> We were doing this like little story books thing, and there were little videotapes, VHS tapes, in the story. I can't remember what the story was. Probably like the magic key or something. Uh, that was popular. Still is, I think, popular anyway. And I said to the child, "Do you know what those are?" And I pointed to this little picture of the videotapes. And I'm like, no. It's like that's what we used before CDs. And I was like, do you think this child knows what a CD is? Does do they have CDs? So, yeah, the, the child didn't seem all that impressed, but you know, he's, he's only like four years old or whatever. <laughs> but yeah, it is strange. I'm only 22, I'm not old. I'm still young. But, I don't know. Technology's advanced so quickly. And also, it's so weird when people are like, oh yeah, I was born in like 2006. And like, no one was born after the year 2000. <laughs> so, yeah. That's uh, me rambling about how I'm not old, but I'm feeling old. <laughs> anyway, let's talk about some artwork here. So I drew somewhat in the style of the show. We're not completely on model. We're not aiming to be on model. I have recently improved how like close I get to the art style of the show. I've been paying more attention to how the eyes are set on the faces. I used to draw them a bit too close together. To the got tongue tied a bit too close together for the show's art style but recently I've gone now we need to separate those eyes a little bit more. Um, Julian here is not particularly on model in the face department so yeah whatever <laughs> we weren't aiming for being on model it's fine. Uh, yeah well what can I talk about? Let's talk about the show because I love the show I'm currently on my seventh rewatch I think I, I didn't really count I'm just kind of guessing there. Sixth or seventh, like full, complete rewatch of it. I just finished season one again. I'm on season two. <laughs> I'm getting through it a little bit more quickly than I would like. Um, so yeah, but I love this show. It is, as I said, my favorite show. Did I say it's my favorite show? It's my favorite show of all time. I just, I love it. The art style is brilliant and the animation. Like, this thing was animated in Flash, but you wouldn't be able to tell, as I wouldn't be able to tell. I mean, it, it just looks visually stunning, even though it was animated in Flash, which, like, it's not, like, just for being animated in Flash, I mean, just in general, the show is really, like, visually good. <laughs> and, like, the animation, the movement of the characters, I, I love the animation so much. My only like gripe with the show is there's maybe a little bit too much gross out humour, but it's a ch it's a children's cartoon, you know. You, you can't say anything about it. I'm not the target demographic for this show. I'm like a 22 year old adult. Um, so yeah, that's my only complaint. But it's not really a complaint because this is a children's cartoon. <laughs> yeah. But anyway. Um, what else? Oh, let me tell you that story about the time I met Joan and Vasquez, because uh, Joan and Vasquez did the character designs for the show. I'm not sure how like late into development he stayed for, 
but the overall art style of the show is some kind of variation of his art style, which is really cool. But I met Jonan Vasquez once at Thought Bubble 2019? 2020? No, 2019 I think it was. I think. Yeah. Yeah, it must have been. Anyway, <laughs> I met Jonan Vasquez and I met him wearing my first ever fursuit I made. His name was Munchkin and he is so ugly. <laughs> um, but I was so like excited and like nervous to like meet him. I I've kind of like gotten over that as I've gotten older I guess. I'm not that much older, I was only like 19 in 2019. Uh, but the point is like if I were to meet him today I think I'd be able to keep a much more level head and be like, hi, I loved your work on Randy Cunningham, Ninth Grade Ninja, but back then I was so like hyped up that I just I didn't say much. I was like, here I did you a drawing, I did like funny comic of Zim being like coming to the UK and like I'm going to conquer the UK and then it starts raining and he's allergic to water so he starts fizzing and being in pain. <laughs> um, but anyway, I, I just I didn't really say anything. He signed my sketchbook. I was like, thank you, and uh, bye, you know, just a, you know, regular fan and creator interaction, nothing particularly different there. <laughs> but I cringe so much knowing that I could have said thank you for doing such an amazing job with the character designs on my favourite show of all time. I met someone who worked on the show and I didn't say anything about it because I forgot. <laughs> So yeah, that's my cringe story. Um, I hope you enjoyed it because I, I, I think it's funny. <laughs> it's just a little bit like, oof, ouch, kind of thing. Yeah. Anyway, um, we're almost at the end of the video. When I put the background in this drawing, it is one that I drew previously. <laughs> Here's one I made earlier, literally, because it's the background from my big Yu-Gi-Oh painting I did a while back. I like to reuse that because sometimes I just don't want to draw a background and Shadow Realm swirls work quite well as a lazy background. I almost did like the Shadow Realm portal but I decided against it and just did this instead. <laughs> I messed around with the colours, thought about making it look like the realm of shadows, not the Shadow Realm. See, that's the same thing, right? Shadow Realm, Realm of Shadows, anyway. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, we just went with a green kind of stank looking thing in the background and then it is done. So uh, here is the finished piece. I think it turned out all right-ish. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Please do not hit the like button as that probably hurts. It's not very nice. So maybe shake his hand instead. With that being said, hope to see you in the next one and bye!